This is how it loads in. You have right here for SVG import. Sometimes you have to click the insert if it's not being displayed there. And just click insert SVG. Insert from computer. And then the one that you downloaded. You want to put it on the ground plane. This is your sides. You want this one here, which is the ground. This arrow here, well not arrow, this box allows you to drag it. This right here is your scale. You can increase it or decrease the size of it. Then this right here is your dimension. So from this line to that line should be 50. So if you want to make it 50 millimeters, then you just shrink it down till it's about so it's about there. Then OK. Sketch. Finish sketch. And click here for top. Can rotate it. And now this is going to be what you're working with. Which would be this area here. And everything that highlighted turned to blue hit E on the keyboard or you can go up here to extrude and then you can place on how thick you want it uh, like if you're doing a keychain I'd probably do two millimeters and it just made it extrude up to two millimeters you click OK now your sketch will go away once you click OK you have to go back to the arrow over here where it says sketches the drop down your first sketch you made, turn it back on so you can see it. And then all you're going to do from here is the same thing that you did. Click what you want. You can push the shift key. Well, hold the shift key down and then click so that you can select another area, this one here. And then we'll do it for the eyes also. Then you can hit E on the keyboard, extrude. Do the same two millimeters. Click OK. And that should be everything that should be black. I like to make folders. So you come over here to your body, drop down arrow right click on bodies new group then double click the group I'll just label this this is how I do mines keep everything organized all right sorry then hold shift drag them all into there now we'll do another color. We'll do red for the cheeks and the nose. And the bottom of the mouth, we'll do red. Then extrude those. Same thing, two millimeters. Be careful right here. The operation is automatically joined if the bodies are touching. You need to set it to new body. And then you're going to click OK once it finishes. So these are your new body that's in there. And again, make another folder. This one here, just label it as red. Same thing, move these into that folder. And then we will make the two. You can turn the bodies off. So that way you have a clear view. Extrude. Do the same too. It's going to give you a warning that's creating a body, but you can't see the bodies. You can ignore it because everything's fine. Just click OK. And if you go back here to turn the bodies on, you'll see them there. And same thing. Click on bodies, new group. Label this as white. And then this part here, we'll go back to the photo. 
and everything on the photo appears that it's all black so we'll just make it all black extrude to make sure it's not on join make sure it's on new body click OK move this one into the black folder and then the only thing we have left is to make the yellow and click those two let's see and we'll do the tips black also so extrude two millimeters new body and click OK new group yellow then we'll go back and do these and go to new body click OK move these into the black folder and then you want to expand each folder and you're going to export each color so you click on everything that's inside the yellow make sure they're both highlighted right click and then you can either tap V on the keyboard or just click here to show to hide what we're doing is we're going to hide every single body that is not of the same color okay so now everything is hidden but the black then utilities make come over here to output uncheck the send to 3d printer click the bodies at the top it highlights everything click OK it's gonna ask you where to save what you label it is I'll just label this as black save it here black save then you're gonna do the same process now we'll do the red and click the bodies at the top and click the OK for export do it as red and then show height and you might think it's easier but the bodies themselves are not then we're going to do the white Make sure you always select the body at the top so it selects everything. Then we're going to turn these on, do the yellow. Again, make sure you're selecting the body at the top. If not, and you're just selecting these when you click it, it won't align right. It'll be in a different position. So make sure you're always selecting bodies at the top. And make sure it shows that everything is selected there when you're exporting. This will be yellow. And that's all the colors there, so we'll bring that into Bamboo Studio. So these are the files here that we created. And we'll just set that like that. All you have to do is highlight the files, drag and drop them into Bamboo going to tell you the single object multiple parts just click yes now at first you're just going to see one body 
you'd go over to objects and then here's each of them you can just do it since they're labeled by color the way that I labeled them it's easy enough to just go in there and change it like that this right here is four for red so red so all you do is type four on the keyboard this is white I don't have white up there but I'll make it two change that to white then yellow is three and there you go we'd have that slice it now the issue you might run into is these black lines might be too thin as you can see some areas here it just can't get into um, the only way you can really fix that is just by scaling up the item just a little bit sorry undo you want to scale it from the main one with the check mark on it but yeah if you scale it up more then you can see it fills the holes just a little bit better and you can even do extra stuff if you want to make this into a keychain just go back into fusion we will turn off the yellow turn on all the black it's gonna close the folders sketch go to solids create sketch want to create on the bottom one second sorry about that and just zoom in here we'll put a hole right here so circle two point circle start about about here and make it something like that then go back to circle and you want to do a center circle start in the center of the first circle you made just kind of drag it out you can make whatever dimensions you want then you click finish same process highlight extrude you can make it two millimeters if you did an overlap and you came in here it'll highlight as cut but you just want to make it a new body click OK then what we're gonna do is go to utilities make do the same process as before this time you can save it as black key loop then we'll go back into this and now you're gonna see you have an extra one the black key loop and the regular black you don't need the regular black if you're using the key loop one so we'll just select all of these leave out the regular black drag these in same thing multi-part yes same thing can scale it up and then we'll just assign the colors like we did the first time and there you go you have it with the key loop whoops and there you go you have one with the key loop and one without <laughs> 